Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Hearts of Iron 4, where we are still still Germany. Uh, we control most of Germany again, which is which is good. We had somehow managed to lose control of Germany at one point. Um, I, I blame it mostly on Rommel. He's a foolish general. There's a tank in here. Why is there a tank in here? It's the grills, okay. Wonder how the occupation to or the resistance to our occupation is going. Hungary. Over here. I still want to attack Hungary for the rest of his land. It annoys me that he has any land. Kill! All of them. Hungary controls land over here. Bulgaria has capitulated. That was quick. See, that's how it should be. I will conquer the remainder of Hungary. Alright, uh, Rommel. How's your planning bonus look? Looks pretty good. Rommel doesn't feel too good about it. Don't care. He's gonna act on it anyway. And the other guy that was over here, I believe, was red. It was... Yeah. He's not feeling so hot about this. Let's get some air superiority. And I believe we have a lot of airplanes that are not based anywhere, so I need to... Yeah, 1,300 airplanes ready to go. So, let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch of close air supports. Apparently they can only be a thousand. Takes 20,000 manpower. Okay. That's good. I think that we can't click it yet because they have to redeploy. They actually have to fly out there. Actual focus complete. Cool. Gives us advantage to uh, nukes or something. War with the USSR. Sounds like fun. Uh, naval rearmament. Sure. Now, before we forget, we gotta research these airplanes, because it's important that we get the, uh... Strategic bombers so we can start bombing the crap out of Great Britain. And we need the fighters, too. We have ten free military factories. Nice. Okay. Tanks. More tanks. More airplanes. Let's just go crazy with, like, fighters for now. In fact, let's create a variant of the fighter. The Fighter 1, we have 105 air experience, so... We could just say engine and weapons. Reliability goes to crap. No.
Okay, right now, reliability is at 80%. Reliability at 96% sounds pretty good. Air attack goes up, operational range goes up, agility goes down. Eh. But more range is good, more reliability is good. Maybe I overvalue reliability. I just like the idea of having reliability. Okay, uh, you're going to change over production of the Fighter A to the Fighter 1A. Make them better, please. We still have free military factories. Let's build more. Modify the government. We got room for one more political advisor. Civilian factory inf infrastructure. Ooh, a third silent workhorse. Oh no, I only I hired a. Uh, I didn't hire the second guy. Sure. Captain of Industry. Sounds good. Air wings with no mission. Um, these are close air support. So we want them on close air support only, I think. There's a thousand of them. Normal operations. I would really kind of, I don't know, day and night? I don't know. Okay, so now that they've been deployed... Now, we should be able to take this region and... Twelve hundred and eighty out of two hundred. Airbase is a little bit overcrowded. Missions are on zero percent efficiency. So you're saying that that army is a little bit too big, huh? Shouldn't make it a thousand strong, huh? I kind of feel like the rebase all button should just like automatically spread them all out. You reorganize. Eight hundred out of a thousand. It's set to reinforce to a thousand, huh? Okay, so note to self, next time don't do that. Two hundred is probably a good number. And then, now, hopefully, if we take, select all, now it's at least at 1,400 out of 1,000 instead of, you know, crazy stupid numbers out of 1,000. And then what we can do is say some. And we grab some of these. At 
let's grab like some of the close air support and have them go to that region. Did that work? I don't know. But we've got 1280 with a supply of 200. That's bad. Maloney. Maloney. What is up with Maloney being so bad? Upgrade that airbase, please. Or why not just rebase? Like, why can't we have more not based on a Wallonie? That seems like it'd be a great idea. Okay, uh, Wallonie has too many. All these little tiny fighter wings are just annoying the crap out of me. I want to create new wings of 200 units at a time. Tactical bombers, I don't think we need those. The fighters... Can I mix fighters with other, other fighters? Yes. So, that's close. You're allowed to reinforce up to 200. Stupid damn slider. Okay, um... So here, we can deploy, like, you. Right? You can't select the air wing before it has been deployed. Deploying from... Okay. So you've got room for some troops. Don't understand this interface like at all. What? <laughs> what in the hell is happening when I do this? <laughs> I'm just trying to rebase them in a way that makes sense, okay? Now we have 1400 units. Okay, you and you go to Ile de France. Did that work? Yes, it did. Thank God. Okay. And then you, Wallonie, why don't you grab these 181 to Ile de France? Oh my God! It almost it's it's almost like it works. And then now we still just have some like weird numbers here, like close air support at two two fifty. Let's, like, adjust this down to, like, 200. Is there a way to combine these two? Yes. Good. Once I get this figured out, Gonna be so much better. We have a thousand still in Wallonie, which don't belong there. So we need to grab like uh, you four to well, let's grab you two to Ile de France, and then let's grab two more fighters to Normandy. 
There we go. Oh my god. It worked. And air wings have no mission. Great. I still don't quite understand what that one means. I think it's when they have this. So I've deployed these new these new fleets. Air superiority. Close air support. Interception. Naval strikes, not so much with close air support. No, I think not. Why is it even an option? Like... Hey, insufficient resources, wow. We haven't had that problem in a while. We need what now? We need rubber. Guess we're making airplanes. Cool. Okay, lots of uh, army experience again. Let's see if we can upgrade our Panzer IV one more time. Panzer IV. Panzer IV A. Panzer IV A. Get a variant. We upgrade the reliability first. Then we just tack on the better engine. Which apparently does not affect the, uh... Does not affect the reliability, which is nice. The main gun. It's bigger. Save. We change over the Panzer 4A line to the Panzer 4A 4B. Nope. Cancel that new production line. Change this one over to the Panzer 4B. Slight production hit, but now we're making the Panzer 4B, which is bigger guns. We need more. Logistics. We still lack stuff. I think we stopped making this grill thing. Now that we have the Panzer IV... And then we go find our Panzer IV. Grill A Division. Cut back some of the lines. should instantly fill in some of the uh, equipment necessary to make this. We'll still produce, like, whatever we can here. Specification for Epirus. That is us. You guys ready? Oh, you're ready. Fair war. Exercise your plan. Sometimes they seem like they do a great job, other times, I don't know. Okay, um... Yeah, I think we just, just straight up declare war on Hungary. And, uh, this green guy needs to get back to suppression. So, that's the V key. Select you, V. Damn it, I hate when I accidentally select air bases. It's like, it's like playing EU4 again with selecting things when you don't want to. Damn it! Suppress all the things.
Meanwhile, we've got this army here. Purple. Not Rommel. Rommel and... That guy... That guy's busy. That guy's on defense. It's this guy. You're gonna take over Hungary. And you know what? Just re do, do a rebased movement. Like, move fast. Is that not working? No, you can't join my war. Let's get the other airplane being researched. The Jew, the close air support. We do want the strategic bomber, but... Come on, move through the mountains. Somebody should really take care of that. Okay. So, Italy's been reconquered. All of Africa is owned by France and the United Kingdom. Um, we lost control of Congo, which was a lot of rubber. We're building airplanes. There are 34 British divisions on the mainland here. This battle is going 70%, 34%. It's good. 86, 96, yeah, oh yeah. Got him. She killed tons of divisions. Excellent. Good stuff. Okay, um, we police our borders, we start building tactical bombers, we bomb the crap out of the UK, we figure out how to get to the UK. What I want to do is I want to figure out if there's a way. First off, I'm gonna bring, uh, you. Cancel your orders. I want you to come, like, all the way down here. And I don't know if this is gonna work. But I want to try to re- I want to try to stage, like, a naval invasion. See if we can get down there. You might as well take that province, you derp. Improved anti-air, rocket artillery, towed rocket artillery, that's anti-tank. I think our tanks are anti-tank. I think improved anti-air is more important. No, stay here, stop that, no. You're doing it wrong. Low supply, nighttime penalty, 300% 50, yeah, big bonus. Just kill it. Don't be so pansies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Greece doesn't have very many troops, okay? These videos have a tendency to go on a little bit longer than I expected. Fire Brigades is done. Cool. Okay, we're working our way. 
We almost have Blitzkrieg done. Let's get down to Athens with a troop. You are pretty well encircled. You should take some severe penalties. No air support down here, but I think it's really necessary. I think the part of the problem is the game starts you off with all these like random airplanes. Like really messy combinations of airplanes. Ugh, terrain penalties stinks. Naval rearmament is now done. How are we doing on resistance? Not too bad. Uh, looks like you. No, it's you. You take care of that. Meanwhile, uh, I don't remember who it was. It was going to win this war against Hungary. Looks like it's purple. Nope. Yeah, it's this purple. Go. I'm sorry, Hungary. I know you wanted to just like be friendly and be like, I'm part of the ax I'm, I'm part of the Axis. I'm part of the Axis. No, you're not. You are kind of in, in the sense that all your production are belong to us. Okay, more industry. Wow, that's a big one. Okay, well, like I said, I'm gonna have to take a break here. Uh, soon. As soon as I win this war. Just as soon as I conquer all of Europe, Mom, I'll come to bed. I mean, not Mom, that sounds weird. <laughs> Mom, I'm playing Dota. Can't go to sleep yet. Actually, back then it was World of Warcraft and like uh, other games. Okay, uh, take all states. That's what I want. Yeah. There we go. Hungary doesn't exist. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. We will square this away. I've made some mistakes. Don't get me wrong. I know I have. Um, but we're we're figuring the game out a little bit. We've taken over a lot of stuff. Um, if we could get get down into Africa and conquer all of Africa, I think that would severely limit the UK's resources. And then we just turn the entire German war empire on making Panzer IVs, bombers. And just, we're just going to bomb the hell out of the UK until, I don't know, until something happens. So, alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.